Today is September 16th, 2012, and thank you for watching. The California UNRWA Act, if I'm saying it correctly, U-N-R-U-H, after uh, Senator Jesse UNRWA. The California UNRWA Civil Rights Act states, All persons within the jurisdiction of this state are free and equal, and no matter what their sex or race, color, religion, ancestry, national origin, disability, medical condition, genetic information, marital status, or sexual orientation are entitled to the full and equal accommodations, advantages, facilities, privileges, or services in all business establishments of every kind whatsoever." Unquote. That's the California UNRWA Civil Rights Act. And of course, there is a federal equivalent of that act also. You're watching pictures taken today from a police action in Inglewood, California, August 18th, 2012, where a black citizen of Los Angeles was denied equal accommodation, public accommodation, and denied equal protection of the law on August 18, 2012 in Inglewood, California. It appeared to be business as usual at the LA Hyundai LAX, an agent of Hyundai Motor America. There had been previous racial discrimination charges leveled against Hyundai Motor America and LA Hyundai LAX a few months ago and this appeared to be retaliation against the the black car owner for complaining about uh, discrimination it was this past year that the car owner had taken another Hyundai in for service and it was taken to this particular dealer three times and taken to one other dealer and then also taken to at least three or four other mechanics independent mechanics and so that was the car was inspected about oh nine or ten times yet Hyundai LAX Hyundai LA Hyundai LAX would not fix the vibration in the car so again that was after about nine different inspections LA Hyundai LAX refused to fix the car's vibration some mechanics claimed that the vibration was caused by a defective motor mount LAX Hyundai LA had replaced two of the motor mounts two out of four but refused to place replace the other two so that matter was taken to Better Business Bureau Auto Line Arbitration, which is the right of every car owner under the warranty to take your car to Better Business Bureau Arbitration. However, the arbitrator, after witnessing the vibration, which was constant while the car was running, could be felt in the back seat, uh, could be felt in the front seat, uh, the arbitrator ruled that the uh, problem had been fixed. So this was a complete contradiction uh, to the fact that the arbitrator felt the vibration even though the motor mounts uh, had been replaced. So it appears that in some instances there may be a government, uh, concentrated government effort in some of these matters to deny warranty work. The National Highway Traffic Safety Commission has been notified that Hyundai suffer from defective motor mounts but there doesn't seem to have been issued a uh, recall of any uh, Hyundai vehicles because of this problem doesn't seem to be a service bulletin was issued either when you take a your auto to a Hyundai dealer what exactly is a Hyundai dealer supposed to do well we're going to read from one of the booklets that Hyundai Motor America puts out and it says quote 
protect your investment at your local Hyundai dealer. Protect your investment at your local Hyundai dealer. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Nice, warm, fuzzy feeling. It says, quote, love that new car feeling. Let's keep it that way for years down the road, unquote. Hyundai service pledge, quote, unquote. When you choose to have your vehicle serviced with us, we pledge to schedule an appointment that is convenient for you greet you with a courteous smile within 60 seconds of your arrival provide you with an accurate time and cost estimate perform a quality inspection on your vehicle every time you visit thoroughly explain all repairs performed and review all costs before you pick up your vehicle quote unquote so I'm just reading some of the things that Hyundai Motor America says the dealer is supposed to do and of course if you're watching this video you realize that a car was taken to uh, LA Hyundai LAX on August 18th and it was uh, the owner received anything but the service that I was just reading to that Hyundai Motor America says uh, is supposed to be provided to every owner of a Hyundai Hyundai uh, LA Hyundai LAX actually is owned by Marina Automotive LLC. Marina Automotive LAC is doing business as LA Hyundai LAX. Their license number according to the Bureau of Automotive Repair is 264187. That's the license number for LA Hyundai LAX is 264187 and that license is given to them by the state of California under Governor Jerry Brown and LA Hyundai LAX is located at 970 West Manchester Boulevard in Inglewood California and as we said before racism charges and retaliation charges had been leveled at LA Hyundai LAX previously Jeffrey Zerling is one of the officers and owners of the corporation Jeffrey Zerling Z-W-E-R-L-I-N-G can't imagine what the officials at Hyundai LA Hyundai LAX were thinking when the black men came down there were they thinking well you come in here we're gonna strike you down we're gonna strike you down if you try to get service here at this white establishment one of the officers that uh, was supposedly investigating said that he didn't see anything wrong with blacks being denied service at LA Hyundai LAX and this is officer Blaylock officer Blaylock is with the internal affairs of the Inglewood Police Department didn't see anything wrong with a black man being denied service at a car dealership that is supposed to be providing public accommodation and in fact a car dealership is what what's known as open to the public meaning that they send out their advertisements, you hear it on the radio, you see it on TV, they're inviting you as the public. And there doesn't seem to be anything in those advertisements from Hyundai Motors saying, well, we're inviting everybody in here except blacks. I don't see that in any of their ads. And yet, there seems to be a policy here on August 18th. And you know, you, you see the videos, you see the pictures, they're very calm about it. It's just like it's business as usual at LA Hyundai LAX in Inglewood. So Officer Blaylock of the uh, Inglewood Police Department was asked about the denial of service at the lunch counter or denial of service at the uh, car dealership. You know, in this country, if you study the civil rights movement which was not too long ago blacks and whites died to secure the civil rights that we have on paper today excuse me so when officer Blaylock came out and the other officers that you see in this picture here police department is supposed to be a law enforcement agency they're supposed to protect and serve they're supposed to make the difference but make the difference for who enforce and serve whose rights did the officers enforce 
the law of public accommodation August 18th? Did they have any type of training and non-discrimination tactics against blacks? Are they enforcing the law of public accommodation today? Are the Inglewood police officers enforcing the law of public accommodation today? As Martin Luther King said, an injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Now, if you believe in racism, I encourage you to call them up and tell them that you agree with them, that you agree that the blacks and the disabled and the elderly and those with medical conditions and those who have a certain marital status and those because of their sexual orientation if you agree that those people should be discriminated against I encourage you to call up LA Hyundai LAX and tell them you agree with their practice but if you don't believe in racism and you don't believe that people of a certain sexual orientation or disability or medical condition or national origin if you don't believe those people should be denied public accommodation I encourage you to call LA Hyundai LAX or even call Hyundai Motor America do you agree that LA Hyundai LAX should have a license to deny service to the public if you don't know what the public accommodation law is go to the library the free public library you can also go to the law library which is also considered to be a free public library and you can read the different laws yourself on public accommodation in the videos you will see the police car. It was uh, three, I think three, at least three police units that were sent out. Three or four police units sent out. You'll see the officers here at, that were involved. And you'll see uh, Nick Moss. He's the owner, one of the owners of uh, LA Hyundai LAX. You see the service manager, Francis Melodia. She told the uh, black man to get off the property, and along with her, the police, in a concerted effort, they went back to the black man. They said, "If you ever come back here again, we're going to charge you with trespassing." So she's telling a black Los Angeles resident that in Inglewood, he doesn't have the right to have his car repaired. He doesn't have any rights to public accommodation, according to. Uh, Francis Melodia Nick Moss and then you're gonna see a third gentleman here his name is Don Quimby we don't really know what his position was at Hyundai if it if he had any position at Hyundai maybe he was a bouncer I don't know but I know he was there and he was also saying you're black get off this property now he didn't say the words black but he was only talking to a black person there's the only a black person within the 100 mile radius and we don't know Don Quimby's position. He might have been from the Bureau of Automotive Repair. He might have been from the Better Business Bureau. He might have been from Governor Jerry Brown's office. We really don't know at this point what his position was. But we do know that he stood there, uh, a mob of whites, a mob of whites denying equal protection, denying public accommodation to a black uh car owner at LA Hyundai LAX will strike you down we will strike you down if you come back to this business and try to get service don't come back here black man according to Don Quimby and Francis Melodia and Nick Moss and the officers of the Inglewood Police Department and this action of denial of civil rights violation of civil rights in the city of Inglewood California August 18th 2012 and today is September 16th thank you for listening